Welcome to our video. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, so we're gonna talk about horror games and what makes horror games great today. And we have a guest today too. We have a our friend Hekachu over, and he's an amnesia veteran. So yeah, say hello. Yeah. Hey everyone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smooth. Exactly. Okay, so um. I played a few horror games. I'm not an expert, but ah, it's okay. Yeah, I'll try to do my best. Mm. It's it's totally fine. We haven't played that much either, but yeah, we, we're not experts for real. We just pretend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just pretenders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, so we're we're trying to figure out what makes a horror game a good. No, what makes. A... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what makes horror games good? It, like exactly because you, you know. Uh, right now, horror games are really popular in like big companies and in the indie developers are always making horror games because they are really popular. As I said. <laughs> and yeah, so we wonder why are they so popular? What, what makes horror games so appealing? And yeah. what what uh, what is the things in horror games that makes it a great horror game? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing we're gonna talk about today. So who wants to start? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'll say from the very beginning that uh, maybe the reason people love uh, horror games is they give you this adrenaline. Yeah, kick indeed. And they, you sort of go all alert, and uh, if you like the feeling that you're scared, <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> some people <laughs> can't take it. Exactly, some like me. Like like it. It's it's weird because I I really like watching horror games, and I really like you know watching horror movies also. But when I play myself. I just can't. I mean, I'm trying to get get better because I I really enjoy horror games. I li like the horror genre, but I just I just nope when I play horror games. You're totally in a different state when you're like watching. But yeah. When you're actually in the game, you actually feel like you would be the character who's exactly. moving there. So it's mm. it's and a you totally get that survival instinct. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a totally different thing. Mm. But, but I guess that is yeah. I guess that is the same good thing about horror games. When it's a good horror game, you feel like you're actually there. You you are immersed. That's the great. That's the mo most important part of horror games. I, I guess in my opinion, because if you don't feel like you're actually there, then it's no point really. <laughs> no, I I guess it's you're just playing. Yeah, indeed. You I guess it's kind of like you feel like the company has failed if you don't get like into the game and that happens to me when I play like pixelated horror games sometimes it doesn't yeah. feel that yeah. great but then again some some has really catched the atmosphere mm. and then they have succeeded darn well yeah because you know it's a difference because you don't have to have it like first person like amnesia has but no. obviously it works really great in the that that's the most immersive yeah like obviously like but then again when I have, I have played these like uh, RPG maker games they are really because they they have such a like the atmosphere, the music, yeah, the music is a good part of making it seem like you're in the, in the game, even though you're not really like in first person. It like m makes this like I don't know the feeling of like ominousness, and that that is a great thing. So yeah. it doesn't have to be in the first person to be like immersive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so but what, what do you guys think of jump scares? Are those good or are those hmm. like overused? Like being they kind of. Some people claim that they spoil the game if they're just jump scares all around the place, but some people like it. What do you think? Yeah, well. I'd say uh, many people hate on jump scares because they're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you get scared, that's the point. Uh, I'd say, though, that. Um, the atmosphere in itself is what makes yeah, it. Yeah, obviously, you know, I'm totally fine. You can use yeah, yes, of course, but you you have to have a balance. I guess I guess you know in Indonesia. I remember when I played as long as I've played it, <laughs> not so far, but you know, <laughs> well, it, it it has some of the jump scares, but it has also this like, you know, the the atmosphere that you think that something is gonna happen and it doesn't happen, and that's that works great. Yeah, when that's it, basically you know, the worst thing when you expect something yeah. to happen, but then it won't happen, and then it leaves the feeling that you know it might happen when you're off guard, and that's yeah. that's a really creepy thing. And I'm totally with you guys. I think that the atmosphere is a lot like import more important than just simple jump scares. Yeah, mm. it's like I mean, 
obviously you can have some jump scares because you want to have some like action and whatever yeah, because totally. if you just just have a game that nothing happens and you literally just fear that something happens it gets kind of like in a in a long run it gets kind of like boring because obviously if you have a good o- atmosphere you will be scared but if you then then have played like for 2 hours straight and nothing literally has happened you're like what's the point of being scared anymore <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, it needs something. Exactly, to it's a, something like yeah. to make it more adrenaline rush, you know, whatever. Indeed. Mm. And th- but that's subtlety is key. I played a game called, uh, what was it called again? Right. Seek, right. Oh, Seek, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that, I right. Mean, right. It was okay, a game that was published on Game Jolt, mm. and it was awesome. It had the atmosphere just amazing, and, you know, everything was so great, but then I kind of missed like something really scary because you know it wasn't mm. like an adventure horror game but it was just the atmosphere all the time nothing really scary happened yeah I as mean, far as I played and I played pretty far yeah I guess it's like if of course you want to have the simplicity you know in Amnesia they do this great because they have the simplicity of just nothing really happening for long times of periods but then mm. But you know there's... Yeah, yeah. Then, then, then you can die. <laughs> because some games that uh, just have this ominous uh, vibe and nothing really happens, it is really boring ac- after a while. You have to have something that happens so that... Because you can't, you can't just be like, yeah, but we, we, we just wanted... Because we don't like jump scares, we just have like this crazy like atmosphere that uh, you feel like something has happened. Because Indeed. it doesn't really affect you if it, nothing is never going to happen to you. <laughs> and that was kind of the problem that I noticed with Seek. Yeah. But then overall it was just a great game. I liked it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, they can have like this balance of like they have... Because some games have way too many jump scares. And it's like, that is also because if you have, if you have jump, jump scares behind every corner... You get very tired of them, and you don't—they don't scare. Yeah, you get probably yeah, you don't. Them. Yeah. You, you're not scared of them anymore. But if you have a jump scare that is very like you, you don't expect it, and it's, it's it's after a long period of just ominous atmosphere, you get like very like psyched up that it's something is gonna happen, and then when you least expect it, it's gonna it's gonna happen, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it keeps you awake for a while, and you can <laughs> play with the atmosphere. Nothing, ac- nothing actually happening. Mm. You're you're still going to be yeah. afraid. There might be something else around exactly. the, corner, the next corner. So that's you know it's very very like uh, very de- like small detail, but you know after you have, it's very very important when it comes to horror games because subtlety is key actually in horror games because the m- the exactly. most scary things are the things that you make up with your own mind actually. Yeah, that it's you know that's totally true. Because you don't, you don't, you d- because you don't know what's gonna happen, and you always think of the worst thing in your head. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's very, you know, it fucks with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's also the sign of a great horror exactly. game. Yeah, exactly. Game that screws with you. Exactly. Like p- I d- I d- that's what I think. I I think y- if you see these like very gory games, um, I'm not really that scared about like, or, like really gory because then again, that that's too like out there. But if yeah. it's something like you don't really know the threat, it's like it's uh, like some kind of invisible threat that like you know is there and it's ca- and, and can harm you, but it's you can't re- you. but you can't really put a face on it or you don't see it that clearly. It makes it more horrible because you know or hor- horrifying because <laughs> because you 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 make it up much worse than it actually can be. You know? Indeed, and that's actually the funny thing in Amnesia too. Mm. Uh, before I actually saw the monster, yeah. I never actually looked at it. I just I just knew it was mm. there, and then I ran. Yeah. And uh, when I saw uh, its face on Google, for example, I was like, "That's not scary. That's just dumb." <laughs> yeah, but it's obviously it's different to see it like in <laughs> in uh, yeah, outside yeah. of Tokyo. But yeah, it's it, if you look at when if you look at them, they look kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> they look really weird. <laughs> but that's a great thing about Amnesia also, because when you you play the game, you don't really see them that much, even because it's like it's so dark and. It's and when you when you you're and hysterical. when you like you run into them, you're you're either gonna die or go go run away from them. <laughs> so exactly. you don't, you're not like long camp periods of time which just looking at them because you were insane. <laughs> because <laughs> 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 so that's a great thing. That's a great thing, and that has uh, really made Amnesia a really darn great game. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a classic. Yeah. But so I guess we go with atmosphere instead of jump scares in this case. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. you can say it's okay to have jump scares as long as you make them clever. Indeed. Mm. 
Short and simple. Yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Just do it like that, very easily. Okay, but then I guess our next big horror is our upcoming graduation A levels. A -levels. Yay. Yeah, that's the that's the greatest horror yeah. nowadays. Now. Yeah. You know, pff, no horror. They should make a game. About <laughs> yeah, they should make a game about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I guess we'll have to thank you for our viewers for watching or yeah. listening or whatever. Yeah. And you. you know, you know, we had our great pleasure to have a new like host and whatever yeah with featured us. guest or extra or face you know a face that is just a voice <laughs> 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 exactly exactly and he, will, he so. will probably be in some other videos maybe some other time when we talk I about things yeah. and yeah. stuff so Try. thank you for joining us Hekachu yes well my pleasure <laughs> so see you later guys see you later see you later <laughs>